Hi everyone, welcome on board. This is Eshwarya once again and welcome to another video series. So with the application season coming along and I know all of you are preparing to go abroad next year which is in fall 2021 and your application deadlines are approaching. One another question. So this time I thought that, you know, I'll take up questions which people are coming up with all the queries and I'll curate videos out of them because um, ideally those are the same questions that everybody would have. Okay. So this video is going to cater to all about scholarships abroad. Okay. So what all things you need to know? Should I apply? How should I apply? Should I not apply? And where should I apply? Things like that. So let's begin with scholarship applications and why do you get scholarships and what are the criteria? What do they check? What kind of scholarships you get? And things like that. Okay. So I want you to stay glued till the end of the video. Very short video, but it'll give you a very clear idea of what you should be looking at. Okay. So let's begin. Uh, so starting with the scholarship application. So what happens is like, you know, when you're applying to a particular college along with your resume, letter of recommendation, statement of purpose, transcripts and things like that. Uh, sometimes some colleges, if you want to apply for scholarships, there is a separate question or a document that you have to fill and give it. Okay. So what happens is that document usually has few questions that, you know, why you are eligible for the scholarship, tell about your um, like, you know, merit scores or things like that. And, you know, you have to fill up or there are two to three questionnaires that you have to write it really nicely just to impress them that, okay, this is why I deserve this scholarship. Okay. Now scholarships ranges from 0% to 100% also. A lot of students come to me and tell me that, you know, uh, ma'am, please tell me that 100% scholarship is going to Okay, so 100% scholarship chahi when you're asking me such a question. So you need to have those credentials also that will help you achieve that much amount of scholarship. Okay, so usually students get 20%, 30%, 40%, 50 60 70 Okay, so that's the range that you get different kinds of scholarships. Okay, now uh, sometimes some colleges will ask you to write an essay. Okay, just to apply. Sometimes what happens is looking at your applications, you're not asked anything external. Just if they feel that your application is very strong enough, they give you scholarship. Okay, so scholarship ranges from merit scholarship, which is given on your merit, maybe your uh, graduation scores or your GRE scores are extremely good and things like that. Uh, so merit scholarship, then you have something called as research assistantship. Uh, so you have to, when you come here to US, UK, Canada, and you have to work, uh, you know, with a professor, research assistant, and uh, your part of your fees was going to be waived and then you have like, you know, teaching assistantship. You have, you have to be a teach, uh, teaching assistant uh, with a professor and that is how it works. And sometimes you also get fellowships. So fellowship amounts are used uh, huge. Mostly if you have like, you know, a social background or you have been involved into a social initiative for a long period of time. So you also get something called as fellowships and the amount for all of these differs from college to college. So every college has a set um, quota kind of a thing wherein, you know, this is the amount of scholarships that we have. And that is distributed among a number of students, depending upon how strong your profile is. Okay. Now, by saying that, you know, how strong your profile is, obviously your uh, graduation scores matter, your extracurriculars matters, your resume matters, the way you have done your applications, your uh, strengths, weaknesses, and you know, what have been your achievements throughout, how strong a leader you are and things like that matter and how, uh, you know, a uh, well-rounded personality you are. So there are a lot of factors that help you gain that scholarship, like merit scholarship. The name says that, you know, either you have a very good uh, graduation score or you have a very extremely good, uh, like, you know, GRE score. That is how you get it. So merit scholarship, if I'm not having a good graduation score and I've not done anything great in my GRE, I'm not going to get it. Okay. So that is uh, what you need to keep in mind. And depending upon that, there are other scholars. Like if you have a very extremely good profile and things like that, and even if your like graduation scores is not that good, you have a low GP and things like that, then also you can make it if you have done exceptionally well in your co-curriculars, extracurriculars, you have been a great student throughout. Okay. So that is also what matters. If you have done something like if you have been associated with a social initiative for a long period of time, done some drastic change in terms of like, you know, helping the needy or, you know, involved into some social aspect, sustainability, environment, things like that. So then also you stand a very good chance to get some kind of scholarships. Okay. Now these are scholarships specific to colleges. Now what there are another type of scholarships that you can get through some or the other foundations, okay, or organizations, okay. Like, for example, there is something called the Sporte Fellowship, which is for women, 
okay and then like there are like you know tata scholarship and you know my, like stanford has its own scholarship which you know which is given to indian students and then there is um a a u w scholarship so there are a lot of external foundations wherein you know you have to apply and they also ask you for a lot of your documents and you know your candidature your credentials that you know what you have been doing your profile and things like that and if you qualify uh that external organization gives you an amount in scholarship okay so that could be like 10% 20% or whatever amount okay uh that is something external so what uh like should i apply for scholarships yes okay definitely because you know if you say that you know lot of students come to me mere paas to kuch hai nahi mera profile itna acha hai nahi and things like that so unless and until you keep on saying that your profile is not going to change okay so if you can work out and you know build up your profile do some certifications get to do some internships um you know get involved into some social initiatives start building your profile unless and until you start building you can't expect scholarship to just you know somebody is not going to drop you on your head okay take this scholarship so that is something that you need to keep in mind that you know everybody looks for a well rounded personality when they are planning to give scholarships because uh ideally speaking everybody has done graduation everybody will be giving gre and things like that so how well rounded you are why you should be getting and not the other person because it's not going to be only india it's going to be uh, the world okay so yes you should be applying for scholarships you should no, uh, leave no stones unturned and like you know trying your best to get that scholarship but at the same time you have to put in lot of efforts and please ensure that you know you fill up all the scholarship essays applications and thing like that people who are with me i know like you know i have been mentoring students and working with them to give them a very good sense of applications so that is again one important thing so if you want to get in touch with me start your applications it's not too late but you know you can't do your applications overnight if it is going to cost 70% okay your admit admit decision is 70% depends on your applications and 30% on your scores so you also have to invest time in doing the applications very nicely okay so start your applications right now i know the deadlines are in november december jan feb but the more amount of time you actually take and you know prepare your applications well so it's always going to be helpful people who are still thinking mera profile acha nahi hai kaise applications karenge abhi bhi bahut time hai get in touch with me i'll tell you what all things you need to do to build up your profile and start applying abroad okay so this is ashwarya signing off want to get in touch with me drop an email on catkingstudyabroad@gmail.com and i will see you soon okay bye bye take care and stay safe all the very best for all your exams